on Twitter. So you're going to start to see the power of doing this. It's an incredible way of reaching a hell of a lot of people. So my niche is founders. So I could just tap in uh, founders as someone who uh, works with people who own their own companies. And I, straight off the bat, have a total target addressable audience of 165,000, which is absolutely fantastic. Now I have a lot of people who could be interested in what I'm doing, and I can optionally niche down into certain areas. So, for instance, if I'm traveling to New York and I want to let people know about a talk I have in New York, I might start preparing by uh, targeting New York and then following all of those people and then of the ones that get back to me, letting them know that uh, I'm coming to give a talk soon. So this is only 5,000 people, but that's probably a good number to go for. 5,000, you reach out to all of them, maybe 1,500 follow back with a bit of luck and then of those, maybe 10% convert into people who could be interested in coming to my talk. So you can see that by doing this, it's super, super simple and you can reach a hell of a lot of people really quickly. Now, what I like to do and you need the paid plan to do this is you need to export. Now, this is critical because you can do lots of cool stuff with this data once you have it. Like right here, it's on your screen and that's great. But um, I always export to XLS and then I can do a lot more with it. Um, so this is a, a key part of the secret source, which has taken me around the world uh, giving talks despite coming from basically nowhere uh, and not be speaking to five people every night. You know, it's amazing when uh, I showed up in New York a few weeks ago and like 150 people there. And it's like, I'm a I'm an unknown, you know, I, I'm some guy from London, but I turn up, uh, I've invited, I think I invited thousands of people, uh, just to get to that 150 was an amazing uh, goal. So you can use Twitter to do really, really cool things. Um, the reason most people don't is it, it seems hard when you're looking at it. Um, but this will enable you to do that. And when you export the Excel, you have all of these people in an Excel, which also has how many followers they have, uh, where their location is. So you can do more stuff with them. Now, at this point, you've found your target market, you've narrowed them down to the people who are definitely going to be interested in what you're doing, uh, you've exported the Excel, um, so you now have a list of their names. So, what you do next is you're going to open up an Excel or a Google Sheet, and whatever the message is you want to get to them, um, you want to say the same thing 15 to 20 different times. So, for instance, this sheet was when I was talking in Los Angeles. Um, and I put in, I'm putting on some social media growth events in LA, come if you want to grow your company and a bitly trackable link so I can track the clicks. Hey, free February 11th, come to my free social media growth hack event in LA. There's a free event giving away social media growth secrets. I uh, want to know the fast way to grow a brand, come to a free workshop. So you can see I'm seeing the same thing over and over and I throw in a few different emojis uh, to mix it up and look legit. Like no one expects uh, emojis uh, in a tweet Oh, well, no one will expect that it would be coming in an automated fashion. So now I have a list of the names of the people who um, I have downloaded, uh, which I can open here. Um, it might take a sec on my laptop. Um, so we have a really good system here. We have phrases to reach out to people that look legit. Um, we have all of their handles that we want to reach. And then it's just a case of gluing them together. You glue them together so that you can put them together in one tweet and then send them out from your account. Um, I really don't worry about people looking at uh, my timeline and seeing these tweets going out because we've proofed ourselves in doing that by doing the 15 to 20 different phrases and mixing up the emojis. By doing this, we have uh, obfuscated the fact that we are reaching out to a lot of people at the same time. Plus, if you mix in normal tweets, which you should be sending about 24 a day, um, then it's going to look pretty organic anyway. Uh, in terms of the normal tweets, uh, I'm a big fan of memes and quotes. Uh, they're really easy to set up and you can do them in bulk on a Sunday night. I'm a big fan of uh, doing all of your community management and lining up your social media posts on a Sunday so that you don't have to think about it in the week. Like You really need to be focusing on building your product and selling it, nothing else. So if you get slowed down by 
uh, having to write social content, it's really a waste of your time. You should have all of that stuff done on a Sunday night. Um, so you can do the fun stuff, which is just logging in and seeing who's replied. Uh, and then you build the community that way by beginning conversations with them. Uh, most people try and wake up every day and think of something to write. You have too much on your mind. It doesn't work like that. You need to have it all lined up on a Sunday to go out in a completely automated fashion. By doing it this way, you have future-proofed yourself and people think you're super active on the platform when in fact the whole week you're actually working on other tasks, but you find that these things work. So getting back to what we have here, um, you can see in this Excel, um, I have all of these uh, that I have written, the 15 to 20 different phrases. I have then glued them together with all of the at hang handles that I just pulled. So you can see them here, screen name, Bill Clinton, and we'll not be tweeting him. I do not think he will get back to me, sadly. But you can see all of these screen names, um, and then you would just highlight this entire row, copy and paste it into an Excel, and then you want to glue it together with this sheet here. Um, I use a JS Fiddle equation to do this. You can do it in Excel or your coder should be able to do this in literally five minutes. So now you can see that we have the person's name and the message. I'm giving a free talk. Hey, uh, Carly Brooks, there's a free event on Growth Hacking Sequels this Tuesday. Are you interested? Precarious soul. Hi, I want to know how to grow social media. Come to free workshop. Two things with this. Um, you can put it in bulk buffer if you're not using Follow Liker. Uh, the key with bulk buffer is you can only import 250 tweets at a time, but you can do four of them every 20 minutes or so, so that you will be able to fill up your buffer really easily. Just make sure you're sending uh, 200 tweets a day in your buffer schedule. So bulk buffer is really easy to use. Um, the key is don't have commas. For some reason, if you use commas, it puts the entire quote in these Dr. Evil inverted uh, flying comma things. Um, and then everyone sees your tweets and looks horrible. Uh, and the other way, of course, and my way is follow like a, you just click the box for tweet and you don't scrape any tweets. You just uh, hit the import button on the second screen and then these will send out automatically. I mean, I, I must have sent like half a million tweets using follow like a, that way. Um, it's done amazing things. Uh, I've made new friends. Uh, I've brought people to shows. I met new clients. Um, yeah, you know, you see those uh, events I have that have 300, 400 people. Often it's a lot of it is because of Twitter. Um, I remember when I got back from my first tour, uh, my first London date, it was just a phenomenal amount of people um, that were seeing me because uh, I'd spent a month tweeting at people. Uh, and that was, again, the only promotion I do uh, for my events. Uh, I, I don't do anything else, never do paid, barely do anything on Facebook, like a little bit in my Facebook traffic and copy. But um, yeah, the point is, this is really good. Uh, it's particularly good if you get people to follow you first. Twitter's algorithms change, so it's not completely certain that your tweets will get seen now. Um, so I'm a big fan of uh, following a lot of people and then tweeting this strategy to people who already follow you. So that is the basics of what audience can do. Um, absolutely amazing, but you can do constant recon. You can offer your clients, oh, I can find this thing.